Hey guys, welcome to this Giga Hub one shot where we talk about stuff that we personally love and enjoy. Uh, I am one of the three hosts, Luis De La Torre. And before we go any further, talking about my childhood and this particular anime, uh, I would like to thank our sponsor, Cosmic Comics, for allowing us to shoot in their beautiful, wonderful store. This place is the jewel of the Mojave Desert. And if you are looking for comics, shirts, uh, figures, pops, whatever you want. They Apparently, I'm supposed to tell you that there's G Fuel here. I don't know why that's important, but it's here if you want it. Um, so there we go. Bills have been paid. Uh, I want to talk to you guys about one of my absolute favorite anime. Uh, before, uh, before I tell you what it is, I will tell you that this anime is widely regarded as one of the best anime worldwide, loved everywhere except in the United States where I guess it's where it counts. I don't think so. But it's well-loved in Europe. It's well-loved uh, all over uh, South America. Um, I'm, of course, talking about uh, uh, Saint Seiya, which is a, um, it's a Shonen Jump uh, manga that ran from 1986 to 1990 uh, by Masami Kuramada. Um, let me preface this by saying that I, I, I guess I can see why this particular anime didn't hit in the States. It's a little bit odd. But when you think about some of the some of the more odd anime titles that have made it and have become successful. If it's popular everywhere else, but here maybe we're a little bit odd. Yeah, maybe we're a little bit odd. That's probably that's for sure. Um when you think about some of the weirder stuff that they've put out, I, I don't see why this series in particular didn't hit. Uh like I said, it is a shonen jump. Uh, original manga, so it's coming from the same place that Dragon Ball came from, that One Piece came from, that JoJo's Bizarre Adventure of all things came from, and, and that show is weird as hell. Um, but let me give you some background, my, some of my background on Saint Seiya. Uh, Saint Seiya is a huge anime in Mexico, and whenever I would go visit family there, uh, everyone would go inside around 6 or 7 o'clock uh, just to watch it, and then come right back out 22 minutes later to talk about it. Um, but it's basically... The best run I can give you is it's about uh, mythical warriors who fight uh, wearing armor uh, known as cloth. And each armor is themed after constellations in the sky, obviously. And um, they each have an energy, because of, of course they do. It's a shonen, it's a shonen uh, manga. So, of course, they have this internal energy called Cosmos. Of course, as we know, we are made from the same thing as space is made out of, primarily stars. And this is what they use to explain the fact that they could use these different powers and they're able to use the cloth to fight all kinds of enemies. Uh, the main five characters have been sworn to protect the uh, reborn, uh, reincarnated goddess Athena, uh, while the other what is it 86 cloths or 84 cloths are trying to dissuade them from believing that she is the reincarnation so they are trying to kill her um and it's up to the five knights to try to rescue her um so the series ran from about 86 to 89 it was uh it was animated by toei animation um if I could recommend anything, I would recommend just watching that sort of initial run. Everything else has sort of been out of the creator's hands, way past the manga. Um, but we'll get to that in just a second. Um, so the five main characters, uh, which are represented by the constellation of Pegasus, uh, Draco, Cygnus, Andromeda, and the Phoenix, uh, are the main protagonists in the show. While in the first arc... They are fighting with each other um, to win. I, I understand that this is very convoluted, uh, but they, they fight in a tournament to win the right to wear the abandoned golden cloth of Sagittarius. Uh, so in the very first arc, they are having basically what equates to a wrestling match um, uh, with chains as ropes. Say a mania. Say a mania. Uh, I'm, you know what? That would have... that I. I think that arc would have done well with Bonesaw. I think Bonesaw would have really been a great Sagittarius knight. Um, and of course it's stolen, and it just sort of leads into this whole arc, which then turns into them trying to rescue her 
from an arrow that has pierced our heart by tread by traversing the 12 houses of the zodiac all of which are gold cloth saints it's a lot i know but there are plenty of ways for you to be able to enjoy uh this uh anime the way i have uh you can't find the manga anymore unfortunately it's out of print i think um shonen jump released it uh somewhere in the early 2000s, and they've been out of print since. But you can watch the old 80s show, uh, which I believe is on Netflix. You can find a couple of the OVA series on Netflix as well, including The Lost Canvas, which is uh, which I thoroughly enjoyed. And there is a, there is a new version that's out there. Um, we'll talk about that in just a second, but I want to talk about the version that came out in, uh, in 2003, which was a failed, terrible version um, it appeared on Cartoon Network. It was produced by Deke Animation, and it was awful. It was Canadian. terrible. It was is it their Canadian sensibilities? Who knows? Um, but a lot of the things in that uh, particular iteration of the show, uh, the script was cu- the script was cut up. The dubbing was dull and awful. The blood, which there is blood in the show, the blood was repla- was colored blue. <laughs> and called mythical energy. They were losing mythical energy. I really would have preferred that they didn't have blood at all. Um, but uh, and they had terrible cuts, and it was it was just awful. They changed the the theme to the show originally is fantastic. It's power ballad all the way, eighties power ballad, and they replaced it with a version of I ran. What is it called? And I ran. I ran so far. It's a terrible cover of that of that song. <laughs> yeah, it's a terrible cover of that Flock of Seagulls song. Uh, it was bad. I think that probably has a big, big part to do of why this movie or why this show didn't catch on. Um, uh, I would have been remiss if I didn't mention how bad that was. Uh, but uh, as a kid, I thoroughly enjoyed it. It is your typical shonen uh, manga. So yeah, the power of friendship and you know, the main characters are just going to get stronger and stronger, the stronger their opponents are. So, I mean, there's a lot of that. It's it's your typical shonen uh, manga, but it's 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 very good. I enjoyed it so much. There's so much of in here that's like Greek mythology. And if you've read any Greek mythology, it's pretty crazy already. So when you when you watch a Japanese take on Greek mythology, it just gets a lot crazier. Um Again, if you want to check this out, you can totally go to Netflix and you can watch the original run there. Um, I talked about the Deke version. There is a new version that was put out by Netflix, which I believe has two seasons. It's all CG. It's meant more, I believe, for kids, uh, which is... It's not terrible. It's not the remake of Thunderbirds bad, but it's... <laughs> but it's not, it's not the original good. So... I, I just I tend to leave that for you know the younger generation. Still, that show was also canceled. Um, I'm not sure why this show is having so much. This anime is having so much trouble finding its footing in the states. Uh, I think maybe it's the constant translations. Uh, who knows? Uh, so I, I would recommend that if you are if you're going to watch it, do start from the beginning. Like, there's no... I wouldn't jump anywhere. There are so many anime where I would just jump into a season. I wouldn't do it with this one. I would start from the beginning and then just let the craziness fly. Um, as far as anything else goes, I wouldn't watch anything past uh, The Lost Canvas. Um, the Lost Canvas is a, a prequel series, uh, which is, you know, not an, an original part of the manga, but it's still enjoyable. Anything after that, I, I cannot watch. Every, the designs are terrible. Um, but, uh, it is a great show. It, I think I, I'm more attached to it because of my nostalgia. Uh, so I would definitely highly recommend it. Um, you, again, you can find it all on Netflix, uh, and just check it out. Let me know what you guys think of the show in the comments. I probably didn't do a very good job of explaining it, but when you watch it, you're going to see why I had such a hard time describing it to you. It's so much better if you watch it. You'll get a better understanding of it. Um, li- yeah, definitely uh, leave me uh, a comment. Let me know if you like it or if you don't like it or if you watched it. And then just let me know what you think. Remember to hit the like and subscribe button for me or, or the hate and subscribe button. It really helps us with the algorithm gods. Um, I will see you guys next time with something else that's probably also batshit crazy. Bye.